Welcome back, everyone. So, my name is Knight. Uh, I'm going to jump in with this Esper Myth Realized deck. Um, you heard me right. Uh, this is sort of an Esper mid-range deck. Esper-based mid-range deck, I should say. Um, that kind of relies and sits on the back of Myth Realized. So, if you've seen any of my enchantment playthroughs, uh, my Mono White enchantment deck, you'll know that this is one of the backbones of that deck as well. Um, essentially just a one mana threat that comes down really early and kind of sits there and slowly gains ground and everything with it. It's, it's actually really nice. There we go. Interesting. My uh, stream is being weird. Anyway, um, so it's an Esper mid-range space deck. Um, it's got your normal mid-range type stuff. Uh, it's got like good one mana removals so, with like Path to Exiles. It's got like hand attack and stuff, and then like Lilies, Lingering Souls, Jace, all that sort, of, all that type of stuff. Um, and it sits on the back of Myth Realized, being like, play this really early, and then just sit there with, like, Disruption, either Serum Visions, or, like, Thought Seizes and Inquisitions, Collected Brutalities, Path Your Creatures, Lingering Souls to kind of protect it, that kind of thing. And then you just sit there and you start turning the corner with this just huge threat with Myth Realized. So, um, the deck has been really sweet. Uh, I cannot take any credit for this. This deck I found online uh, on Tapped Out um, by, oh gosh, I cannot remember his name. It was like Soldier Bot, I want to say, or something like that, or Soldier Bolt, maybe, um, something like that on Tapped Out. Um, I can have a link in the description below the YouTube YouTube video, but I don't have it for the Twitch thing right now, so I apologize for that. But he's the one, or maybe she, they are the one that uh, created this deck and kind of pushed it forward, or at least to my understanding, they created it. Maybe they took it from someone else. I'm not sure. Um but they've done a lot of updating to it recently as well. You know, obviously adding unmoored egos and stuff. They're trying that out in the sideboard. They uh, this deck has kind of evolved as I've I've like slowly watched it evolve over time. And this deck is super sweet. Like I love Esper as like a, a color combination. I think this deck is kind of awesome. I love Myth Realized. Um, obviously, I just love playing Liliana of the Veil, and I love playing Thought Seizes. And pretty much anyone who knows me in real life knows that that's the case. Like, Hand Attack and Lily are, like, my my bread and butter. It's what I know really well. Um, and so this deck kind of has exactly that going on. But it also does a lot of other sweet things. And the nice thing uh, about this deck, which is very similar to, like, uh, Abzan over Jund, is that they get white uh, access in the sideboard, which is such a huge deal in Modern right now. As we can see, we have three Rest in Peace and two Stony Silence. These cards, these... These cards right here, these exact two cards, are probably some of the best cards you can have in your sideboard in Modern right now. Just like for against KCI, Hardened Scales, um, Normal Affinity, if anyone's still playing that. Uh, it's good against, you know, Jund, and it's insane against... Um, like, Stony Silence is pretty okay against Tron. Uh, Rest in Peace can... doesn't usually come in against Control, it doesn't really do a whole lot, but... Sometimes it's okay. You just usually don't want to bring it in. Um, but it just... They, they have so much uh, on them. Specifically, having both Rest in Peace and Sony Silence and the access to play both is so awesome. And, like, Rest in Peace itself really only shuts off, like, our Snapcaster Mages and our Lingering Souls. And even our Lingering Souls, we can get the front half of, right? So... It's just very, very good. Um, plus, all, all the aggro decks we have, like, obviously, Path to Exiles to deal with their creatures. We have Collector Brutalities to help, I feel like, burn and stuff. But we also have, like, three mainboard Wraths. We have Wrath of God, Damnation, and Supreme Verdict just to play around, like, Meddling Mage with, like, humans and stuff. And then we have Settle the Wreckage out of the sideboard, as well as, like, an Engineer Explosives, which is just super good. This deck has just about every tool you could possibly want. And it gets to play all these super awesome sideboard tech cards that are very, very powerful and modern without actually having to screw itself over, um, which was such a huge deal. Like, in Abzan, I would much rather want to play things like uh, Rest in Peace and Stony Silence, but unfortunately we can really only play, like, Stony Silence just because playing Rest in Peace alongside Tarmogoyf really sucks, right? This deck doesn't have that issue. 
The only cards that it really shuts off, like I said, are Lingering Souls and Snapcaster Mage. And even Snapcaster Mage is an Ambush Viper, and you usually probably cut those for the rest in pieces anyway. There's an even swap. But even the Lingering Souls, you can get the front half of, which can be very relevant. So, um, I'm going to jump in the league with this. Uh, I think this deck looks really sweet, and I'm very excited to try it out. So, hopefully it does uh, at least meets expectations, which is exactly what I want out of it. Um, I probably aren't going to get... I'm not going to get everything correct in this game, so... Um, I, I, I'm going to butcher the name or whatever because I just don't remember it and I don't feel like looking it up because it looks really tacky on screen, but I think it's Soldier Bolt, um, the person who made this. If you're watching either now or on YouTube in future, um, I think this deck is really sweet. I really love the idea of it, and hopefully I don't butcher the play style of it as much uh, as, as I sometimes do. So uh, I really want to give this deck a, uh, a, a good welcome to my channel at least, um, and hopefully to this league that I'm about to walk into. Uh, I think this deck is something that could be extremely competitive. Um, it does it does the mid-range thing correctly. It's uh, It does it very nicely, uh, and it's very clean. The deck list looks like it's been worked on a lot, so... Um, I'm, I'm very excited to continue doing this. This hand is pretty good. I would say that this is probably one of the better starts I can have, especially on the play. Um, I'm going to have to obviously shock myself for this, but that's fine. Um, but just getting Mithrealized out really early, and then having like Serum Visions and Path to Exile, it, this hand probably is one of the better ones that I could have, honestly. Especially if my opponent is mulliganing to six. So ideally, um, I'd rather have, instead of like one of these paths or maybe the Snapcaster having like a Thought Seize or something, that seems to be like exactly where I want to be with this deck. But as of right now, that's not really what we have. So uh, I'm not really sure what color I should be getting here. I feel like white, obviously, obviously I need white. So it needs to be either Godless Rain or Hollow Fountain. And I don't know which one is more important in this deck. I probably want double black. That just means that any land I draw off the top will let me cast like Liliana. That seems correct. I've always wanted to see or build or even play a sweet Esper midrange deck. Um, and we just really haven't had one in modern. Uh, there was like Esper Mentor. It was like the... Monastery Mentor, Esper deck, or whatever that was going on. Oh, Tron. Okay, well, starting this off strong, huh? Um, these Path Exiles are going to suck. Um, but yeah, I, I always thought that Esper had, like, some ground to it, but, like, I never really had seen, like, a good Esper list or whatever, so. All right, well, my life total definitely doesn't matter. And I think Thought Seizing My Opponent is correct here. Because I'm going to have to just start attacking with this thing. What have you got? God, that's a hand. Um, well, thankfully their payoff is Worm Coil. Let's take it. Thankfully I've played enough with Mithrealize to know that I need to like... When I need to activate it and how to play it and stuff like that. So... This is not the first time I've attacked a Tron player with a 1-1 Mithrealized. Crazy enough. And I apologize, I'm going to mute myself just for a little bit because I'm, I'm eating a snack. So... So, those of you looking and kind of watching that play, um, I think the hand attack is going to be more relevant 
in the sense that I can take whichever one of these two they probably aren't going to play. They're going to go get their other Tron piece here. And they can't play the World Breaker without green mana. So, <clears throat> and they currently have two unknowns in hand. And so their play might just be like Relic, Crack, Relic. Oh, they have a star. Okay. They still can't play the World Breaker. Unfortunately, that World Breaker is going to get rid of my Mithrealized. So, it hits enchantments, right? Mm-hmm. That's really bad for me. However, if they don't play Relic and Crack Relic, I can Thought Seize it away. Play Map, sure. Alright, so their hand, at least I know, is these three plus an Unknown. These four plus an unknown. Are they going to crack relic immediately? Yep. So unfortunately, I can't thought seize that world breaker, which is kind of what I wanted to do. And that might just mean that I need to inquisition them. I take the Ballista. Ooh, I should have taken the Star. That was really silly of me. Oh, and I just clicked through my attack step. Man, this is exactly what I was talking about. I make so many stupid mistakes. Ugh. Now they can play Power Plant. Or they could, I guess they can play either of their lands. Play Star, Crack Star, immediately play World Breaker to get rid of my Myth Realized. Oh, they have a Karn. Okay, that sucks. And I'm stuck on mana, too. Tron is not a deck that I was okay with starting out with for this deck. I wanted something that I could, like, maybe at least be okay at playing against. I don't think Tron is a very good matchup for this deck. Spoilers. But he's going after my hand... Yeah, you can have a path to exile, dude. Just gonna keep Karn down, I guess. Unfortunately, like World Breaker coming down next turn is gonna get rid of my Myth Realized. He can down tick Karn to get Snapcaster Mage. Like there isn't a whole lot I can do here. Uh, I'm probably gonna path this. Um, oh, all right, sure. <laughs> Thank you. 
World Breaker, sure. Yeah, unfortunately, that's that's got to be okay. <clears throat> Just make sure my tools kind of line up properly here. And I'm going to keep that in my hand. I'm just going to start attacking them. So they're going to play the Worm Coil, probably. And then I can Snapcaster Worm Coil. I think this Karn should have started going after my permanence. Sure. I don't really know what my opponent's doing. I think they should have slammed a Worm Coil a while ago. There's an Ugin. Okay, that sucks. Bolt my Snapcaster, sure. Probably not going to win. Actually, I just can't win this game. Let's move on. Quite honestly, not easy. Bad matchup. Cut all of these. Add in these unmoored egos, these stony silences. Cut these path to exiles. Add in a counter squall, I guess. Counter squall seems fine. Oh, collective brutality is kind of medium too. Just bring in like a ruined halo, maybe? Or another counter squall? I kind of like that. These unmoored egos have to be perfect and awesome. I think unmoored ego on naming one of their Tron pieces very early on is going to hopefully make this game a lot easier. Just slow them down like a bajillion miles. I really like this card. This card's sweet. I'm really glad it got printed. This and like Assassin's Trophy and the the Steam Kit actually has been really impressive. I like that card a lot. I think those are probably the three most exciting from the new set. I'm not a big Pelt Collector fan. It was never really my thing. Like, I have a playset just kind of like sitting there, like, in case I feel like doing it, but it doesn't really look like a card I'm going to play, play with. I don't like Vexing Devil, so. My opponent thinking long and hard about this one. It can't be that complicated. Like your deck is probably really good against mine. I don't know if I want these ruined halos. Or not ruined halos, collector brutalities. Just bring in a couple paths just to deal with their bigger threats. <clears throat> Especially because they're going to bring in things like Donut's Ears and um, Donut's Ears and Thrag Tusk usually are kind of their big go-to go over the top of uh, mid-range decks. Yeah, I like this hand. It's a little slow, but like Double Ego is going to like put that put it to them if I. Uh, if I draw a third land. The problem is that, like, I really need, like, a clock. I need something to do. And, like, Snapcaster Mage hopefully should be able to do that, but... Alright, come on. Okay. My life total doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna... 
probably Delta on my turn. All right, that really sucks. Ooh, they're even slower too. Perfect. Come on, deck. Need a land. Show me the land. Urs is mine. If I get a land, I'm going to name Urs as mine with this unwarned ego. Come on. Oh my gosh. I was so worried for a second. Give me that one. Give me that one. Ego, you. Blue. Blue. Black. Oh, please tell me you're not reading it. I'm going to name Urza's mine. Boom. 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 Up to four cards. Get him out of there. You no longer have that. Now they have an Ulamog. I didn't even see the last cards. It, ugh. It was an Ulamog and I think a Sylvan Scrying? Yeah. They just went to go get a basic forest, I guess. Ooh, that's a good clock, though. I could just play Lily. I think Lily's better. Plus, I'm probably going to get rid of this Jace. They got rid of the Ulamog. Okay, so I don't know anything in their hand now. They have a sphere, sure. Filter green into green, play an expedition map. Oh boy. You know what? I'm not sorry. There's no such thing as sorry in this world for this. Not anymore. I do not have to feel sorry for my opponent. No reason to take that. Sure. Oh, of course they do something crazy. Oblivion Stone? That one's not bad. The biggest issue is that... I think I'm just going to make you choose. Uh, you can have a forest as well.
Yeah, that seems like correct. Top, top. Boom, boom. All right, so what's their best top deck now? They're at five mana. No, nah, I think I just do this. Flashback, Lingering Souls. Next turn, I can Unmoor Ego, naming the Worm Coil Engine, because it's probably like their best draw. Well, they... Okay, Sylvan Scrying, sure. Whatever, it doesn't really matter what land they're getting, they're going to play it. Ghost Quarter, sure. A wild dog is barking. Um, I think... I still think it's correct to Unmoored Ego. Doesn't really matter how I tap that. Worm Coil Engine. None, huh? Okay. Interesting. I'm going to have to mute myself for a little bit. Dog is freaking out. I could have maybe looked. I didn't look and see what. Uh, what they could possibly have. Nature's claim I mithrealized. Sure. I think I'm okay with that too. I mean you're just like dead in two. And no matter what you cast I have an answer for. So, hey, we did it. Sweet. And I kind of like how we sideboarded there, actually. So I'm going to just go ahead and keep it that way. It always feels good to take down a Tron player. Always a good feeling. This hand is very good. Oops.
Ideally, we draw something we can play on turn two here. But that might not always be the case, honestly. Oh god. Can we draw, like, Stony Silence? Please? That's okay. Ooh, Warping Whale, that was pretty good. My opponent was auto passing. <clears throat> Apparently not. Tower, sure. Sure. Take your payoff. That one. Thank you. 
Yep. Cast Oblivion Stone, I'm sure. Ancient Stirring, sure. So that's what they drew this turn. They have another tower. Sure. Bottom, bottom. Oh, why did I do that? That was really dumb of me. No, it's fine. Yeah, now I just have mana up, though. For nothing, basically. They're just going to play... The sphere, sure. Oh, and they played the Oblivion Stone. Uh oh, I must have missed something. <clears throat> oh, the miners revealed twice. Got it. That's why. Sure. Yeah, I thought I'd see her take my Liliana. Seems very good. I think I made a mistake on the second Unmoored Ego. I had assumed that my opponent was uh, auto-passing because that's kind of what it felt like, but they weren't. So, I mean, it's still a little bleak, but we might be able to do it. Why didn't they do that in response to the Lily activation? God. Oh, come on. Oh, walking blister. Okay, that's fine. I was like, please don't be Ulamog.
Unfortunately, I have to bounce the walking blister there, which really sucks, because it's not really what I want to be doing, but it's about the best I got at this point. <clears throat> yep, they're going to swing one into Jace. They have a ballista in hand, they can do... I mean, what? My Jace is still alive. You play some very large boy. <clears throat> but I'm looking at four cards next turn. So, like, the odds of me not drawing something that answers that. think, unfortunately, I need to do this now. But I know the top card, so I know I kind of lose out on that one. I still think Ulamog is where I lose. None. They just have Karns, sure. I thought maybe they had drawn Karn right there. Chase dies. You drew a map, sure. <clears throat> They're going to go get like a Sanctum of Ugin, probably. Oh, they can't activate it. Never mind. Oh, I probably should have attacked there. Now they can go get it, though. Yep, and they're going to play Sanctum. So now, a lot of their draws are super live. I just need, like, one good top deck before they have one, basically. That's not going to do it. That's not good. And, like, trading my Snapcaster off for this is not going to work either. And they're just going to draw, like, Karn or some stupid thing. Okay, Ancient Stirrings. That's not Karn. That's a ballista, though. Jesus. 
<clears throat> yeah, it's a big boy. Okay, so I need an answer to the walking ballista. And they just grabbed a second one. Well, I can take the one. And my colonnade is never living through that ghost quarter. Unfortunately, that's what I got to do. <clears throat> sure. Might as well force the action just in case. Um, yeah, I was like, might as well force this action because I'm going to have to fight through it eventually anyway. And this way, if I draw another mainland, I can hopefully be able to block with it. But, like, oh, they can put counters on this. Oh, I'm super dead. Never mind. Stony Silence is gone. I didn't even think about that. I was like, that doesn't matter, but I'm dead. All right. I probably should have conceded that game a long time ago, but all right. <laughs> Tron, just Tron things. Don't worry about it. All right, let's see. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. This hand would be super good if I had a second land. This hand is a lot better. Yeah, I think interaction is probably much safer. <sighs> all right, all right. You caught me with my pants down, opponent. Well, this Collector Brutality is going to do one thing and one thing only in this matchup. If I can survive until turn four, ooh, that might just do it, though. I was going to say, if I can survive until turn four... This uh, Supreme Verdict is going to be very good. I'm just going to drain you for two. I was like, that's absolutely relevant. <clears throat> just surviving. Well, they have totem armor too, don't they? Dang it. Hey, Boggles.
I also really need to draw a land here. That's really bad. That I don't think I can beat, honestly. Well, we have quite a bit of answers to this deck, at least. Yeah, I'm super dead. Okay. Sideboard plan for Boggles. Settle the Wreckage, Engineered Explosives, Ruined Halos. Counter Squall, maybe? Counter Squall seems kind of loose. But, like, we dropped these Path Exiles. Maybe that's just fine. Just like that. Oh, these Collector Brutalities are lame. Oh, dang it. All right. Nope. Even worse. Okay, this is going to suck. Oh, that's good, though. But that's really good, though. That's fine. Please show me your secret. Which one is it? Ooh, G Glade Clever Scout. That's good. Go away. Sure. Oh, of course they do. Of course. Just like the natural nut with it. Sure, whatever. You got me. Bottom. Bottom, I guess. Play a Mithrealized. I shouldn't have been so excited. I knew that it was going to be trouble. I knew that it was trouble when it walked in. Could you please not? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Well. And it has totem armor. Well, oh, I can't actually edict them. That doesn't actually do anything. Dang it, Bobby. All right, well, double blue. Yep. Serum Visions. Oh, my God. Oh, that lily was bad. I should have fetched and shocked first. Oh, I'm just playing super loose. That's really bad for me. Get rid of that totem armor. Something I have to do. Not great. But, I will say that at least I can get a card out of my opponent's hand. Maybe should have done that in a bit of a backwards order, but it's fine. That was a good one to get out of their hand. But 
but I'm taking what three, four, five, six, seven this turn. Ish, ish, not good. If I had someone to blow up that ley line, that'd be perfect, but I don't. Although drawing like engineered explosives right here would be like the nut. Lingering Souls is not bad either. It's like Souls, Flashback Souls. That seems very relevant. If my opponent has anything super crazy, I think I'm super dead anyway, so... Well, you got me. That sucked. Alright, alright. Sure, sure. That's really bad. I don't like doing this to this deck. This deck is really sweet and deserves a lot better. So this could be the last match of my night just because I'm making a lot of stupid, silly mistakes. Um, to be fair, like, I don't know, my Bogles player or my Bogles opponent had, like, the seal, like, right away. He was, like, super ready for that. And, like, maybe I shouldn't have just jumped the gun. I should have let them go a little bit further into it, but... I don't know. So this could be my last game, or my last match of the night. Um, I don't normally go further than 0-3 with a deck. Once I take three losses, I just kind of like pack it in and either end the stream or end the, the deck itself. So I, I really like this deck. I think this deck is really sweet, and I want to play a bunch more of it. Um, and it might be one that I continue to play in the future. But it looks like this one is going to be a kind of a quick league and kind of a quick end of my night, so. Just like Tron and Bogles are like the two worst mid-range matchups, and I just like pair against both of them. I think this hand, actually this hand is probably fine. Um, it just doesn't do a whole lot. It's a lot of interaction, and maybe that's okay. I just really wish I had like a clock, but other than the Snapcaster Mage, but I'll keep it. The other thing too is I'm just still I'm still kind of like learning the deck and learning the intricacies of it. What do we got? Island means could be blue eye control, could be storm, could be Could be any number of things, honestly. Island pass likely means storm, right? I guess it could also be blue red wizards. My opponent just telling me that he kind of recognizes my my uh, handle here. So. Oh, it's because we played against him yesterday or Sunday. Because we played Eldrazi in taxes, and he was super unhappy about everything. So, thankfully, uh, for my opponent at least, I'm not really doing much. 
but they drew a drowned catacomb. Yeah, that's definitely it, bud. I was not playing um, Thought Seizes, though. Or no, we played Monday evening. Because I beat his deck with Hedron Shift. Or maybe whatever the other deck was. No, I didn't beat him with Vampire. So I definitely beat him with Hedron Shift. Telling my opponent that his deck is great, great fun. Because it certainly is. Well, this Path to Exile probably not doing anything. This game is probably going to be quite um, boring, so I apologize. Because like my opponent's just not doing anything, and I don't have a clock in play. Okay, okay, alright, alright. That's better. That's much better. I just do not want to have to shuffle away the cards. I just serum visions, serum visioned. So we're going to do this. My opponent did nothing. Just need to kill my opponent. Triple Myth realized it's probably going to be pretty hot, so. Mm, not having. Oh, okay. My opponent just like not drawing anything. Well, I definitely want these. Uh, do I just bring an ego just to like kill him? Oh yeah, Path to Exiles are just like super lame. Not like that. Just go for the Gusto by Unmored Ego him and name what's the name of the card? Zombie Infestation? He just can't win. Yep. I will keep this hand. This hand is pretty good. I'm just gonna, yeah, you just do your thing. Oh, he played it. Dang it. Can't do much about that. Turn one thought sees might have been better.
Yeah. Thankfully, he's just like not treasure hunting. He's probably just making a zombie. Okay, I like actually need to kill my opponent. I don't think showing him Unmoored Ego is correct. I'm going to bottom. I'm going to top the crap out of that one. Let's see what my opponent's doing. Take the treasure hunt. You are not ever doing that. You just make a zombie, though. Which is probably pretty good. Treasure on an instant? I don't actually know. And he's got the full art version. Sure. I think if I could get a threat into play. Okay, that's just like not doing anything. Well, I've got colonnades, I guess, but that's just like, we're just not doing anything. My colonnade could keep one zombie at bay, though, so... Sure. I really need another land. <clears throat> That's not a land. I don't like just killing their zombie right here. Might have to might be what I have to do next turn though. Unfortunately. Yep, I need a land, please. <sighs> That's not going to do it. <clears throat> I'm dead with this one. Sure. Let's move on. Okay. I like how we boarded. I don't think there's any changes that need to be made, to be honest. Um, I do think we... Obviously, being on the play is going to be a lot better here. So... Ooh, this hand is pretty good. Um, oh no, it's only got one land. I definitely want more than that. This is a lot better. Keep. Um, bottom that. I guess it doesn't really matter.
I really want, like, hand attack. Well. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. My opponent has a turn to do with me what they will. I'm okay. That's okay with me. You do what you want. Two cards. What'd you get? Another treasure hunt. Sure. Target you. Name zombie infestation. Now I just gotta kill my opponent. <laughs> and I assume my opponent just wants to see a win con, but we're about to give him one. Nope, you can keep that. Or I'd put it on the bottom. Who cares? Who, which one of us is going to mill our opponent quicker is the real question. I think this is kind of funny, so... Yeah. Boom. Damn it, my opponent got me. Yeah, that was fun. Opponent, if you're watching now or watching in the future on YouTube or whatever, it that was actually pretty sweet. Game 2 really sucked for me, so. Just because you were like, slam festation, and I, like, didn't have anything. <laughs> Alright, jumping into this next one here. That was a fun, that was a fun game. If you're watching opponent from that last hunt, that was pretty funny. Um, I assume it's pretty easy to find me. My username is the same everywhere, so my, uh, my stream is quite easy to run across. But it was absolutely a blast. I, I honestly, I love your deck. Uh, the treasure hunt deck is so sweet. Um, 
And I really like the card Treasure Hunt. I wish it was, like, way better than it actually is. I just remember when it was in Standard and, like, it got spoiled for uh, World Wake. And people were like, oh, man, blue card draws back. The card is so good, blah, blah, blah. And then, it, like, didn't see any constructed play whatsoever. Because it was basically, like, thick twice, just not as good. And, like... Its floor is basically one half of Think Twice, and its its ceiling is like drawing twenty cards and just like never, never missing a land drop ever or whatever. But like, yeah, I don't know. the The problem with the card is just like if you had a hit maximum hand size, drawing like nine cards with it really sucked. Would you think, man, two mana to draw nine cards? That seems really good, but no, it's it's definitely true. It was really bad. Um. But yeah, that, that deck is sweet, so. I mean, the deck we're playing is also kind of sweet. Um, I don't think we, oh god, this hand just doesn't do anything. This hand does less, but it, or does more things, but just like not the same amount of sweet things. I don't know, we're just gonna go for it. It's fine. I think this league is about over anyway, where this is probably the last one. Oh boy. Uh, well, I take Burning Inquiry because I hate that card, and I'd like to play the game. So that was crazy. Oh, man. I don't really know if there's a point in, like, mapping out my opponent's cards, because they're about to just have so many different ones. Like, this Faithless Looting is going to change everything. Doggo Barking. That should be changing in my stream soon. That's something I'm excited about. Just a difference in the fact that I'm not going to have multiple dogs in the house. And the one that I am keeping is way quieter. So and Mostly he'll probably just sit at my feet while I'm, while I'm streaming anyway. Okay, they discarded Tassiger, and they discarded Flame Wake Phoenix. Okay. I know that they've got a Bolt in hand. I think going after their hand again is correct. Two seconds. Sorry, Doggo wanted out. Okay, what do we got here? Hollow One, Gurmag Angler, and Lightning Bolt. Well, I'm going to take the Gurmag Angler. Um, and then two lands, of course. I think I'm just going to Serum Visions. I'm looking for, like, a threat. Actually, probably want both of these. Um, just because I want to be able to deal with them like having an insane hand here. Crazy enough, though, I think Snapcaster Thought sees you to take the hollow one is the correct play here. The problem is that, like, this is just so, so much, um... damage that I'm dealing to myself, like, I, all of this damage, all, however much of it or whatever I've dealt to myself, you can have the bolt, that's fine, they have cliffs, cliffs, bolt, which is just, like, really bad, I, I mean, double thought sees is gonna pick them, or thought sees is plus inquisition is just gonna pick them apart, I think, so, they're going to play one of these lands, I'm sure. No, do they draw a Gurmag Angler? Please don't. Ugh. Okay, well, they're going to play a Flame Wake Phoenix, and then I can Wrath them next turn. I assume they're going to put this into their hand, into the play. Which means I'm taking, like, two... No, I'm only taking two. Never mind. 
Yep. I'm just going to yield through this turn. You, you have to attack with it, bud. Wrath you. And they didn't play a land next last turn. Unfortunately, I just like I need something. Burning Inquiry, okay. And they discarded one black cleave. They're stuck with a black leaf glyphs. And we discarded Colonnade and Mithrealized Drew a Swamp. They have oh no, they still have one card in hand. Oh boy. Sure. Let's see what it is though. <clears throat> still a black cleave cliffs. Okay, we're kind of stuck at this position of like neither of us have anything. You drew a street wraith, sure. Did you draw something else that's good? I guess that's probably why they were keeping the black leaf cliffs in their hand. Just playing a oh faithless looting, sure. God, faithless looting, so good. Hollow one might be an okay matchup for this deck. I mean, I don't know. It just looks like a lot of my cards line up properly against them, and that's kind of what matters. They discarded this Black Leaf Cliffs and a Bloodgast, and they kept a land so that they could get their Bloodgast back. Doesn't have haste, so. Ooh, that was a good draw. Ding, 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 ding. Booyah. Yeah, I go to nine. No blocks. Your thing forever as haste. What have you got? Goblin lore, sure. Do you anything good? Ugh. But why, though? Six, so I died of bolts, but I'm going to die to bolt if I leave it back. No, I don't. Uh, I can play around one bolt. I think bolt's fine. So I'm dead to bolt for one turn. Oh, they have two flame wake phoenixes. Never mind, I'm dead entirely. Lame. Okay, so this one's a little bit easier, I think. Um, I bring in these rest in pieces and I drop these snapcaster mages. Um, I likely bring in engineered is really kind of mediocre. Um, I kind of like settle the wreckage, honestly, just like drop a coat or drop one of the wrath effects, drop the supreme verdict. Just like that. That seems fine. Actually. Boom. Collective Brutality is probably not super... It's probably super medium in this matchup, but... It's fine enough that I probably have to keep it. I like this hand. Especially on the draw. The problem is that, like, I'm walking super into a hand attack spell for this Rest in Peace. Not much, man. Not much. Sorry, I just saw your message. I'm going to get Thoughtseize. Nope. Oh, sweet. Um, that last game we played was awesome. It was super fun. Oh, oops. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. Come on. There we go. I think that's correct to play against you. Yeah. 
I, I don't know uh, if you were here earlier, um, but I don't know if you saw my message too at the end of it. Um, I also have a YouTube channel. It's the same the same exact name, just a uh, Night of Saint Draft or whatever. Um, if you if you go there, you can watch this league will be uploaded later tonight, probably right after this. Oh boy, what did I lose? A bunch of stuff, huh? Jace, dang it! I can't sculpt my opponent's minds. Um, but anyway, it'll be it'll be up on there. And the last league I played against you, I think it was actually on Monday. Um, that's also up on YouTube now. But uh, God, we just everything happened. I was not paying attention. Um, but anyway, I talk about it in this league right after that match about how I actually really like your deck. I think it's a ton of fun. It's just like really, really sweet. Uh, and I kind of wish more people played it, honestly. Um, cause I think it's a really interesting deck, but maybe that's just me. Uh, the the collector brutality out of there, I guess. I don't actually know. I think next turn I'm going to do the same thing. So you better face the looting. Boom. You did it. Good job. Give so many things in exile. Yeah, this is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt so bad. Oh, please. Yeah, Thoughtseize seems like it's really good against that deck, unfortunately. Okay, um, I want all three modes. Boom, boom, boom. Black, this, discard, discard. And they don't have anything in their hand, that's fine. They're never casting Gurmag Angler. At least not not in this game. That boy was thick. He's no longer thick. Do you still have a Gurmag Angler in your hand? God, it makes me feel good. Alright, I don't even need these graveyards out. They don't have anything in them, and they can't. I think that's fine. Um, so it's Esper Mithrealized. Basically, you play a bunch of obviously Mithrealized, and um, you just kind of play a mid-range value deck, essentially, uh, with it as sort of the main threat, but also it's like, there's Lingering Souls, there's Lilies, there's Chases. It's basically just like Esper value that uses Mithrealized. Um, and the deck is called Myth Seas or whatever. I found it on Tapped Out. Um, and basically you're just like, play this turn one threat that you is harder to interact with than normal threats. And then like Thought Seas you and like interact with you a bunch in, you know, basically through Oblivion. And then like, yeah, I'm not letting you hit me with that. Go away. Um, and so you basically just sit there like, Attacking with this this little tiny one drop that you played on turn one forever ago It's too bad that I can't oh I could have just killed my opponent. No, I can't it's the same outcome They're gonna go to one And I'm dead to Blood Gast plus Lightning Bolt, I guess. I oh, know I can still block the Blood Gast. It's fine. Um, I kind of like how we sideboarded. I'll keep it. Um, basically, it's it it's two worst matchups, I think, or at least like two really bad matchups are like the same as any other super interactive deck. So like Bogles and Tron, and we faced against both Bogles and Tron in round one and two. Um, and so it just, like, sucked really bad. Uh, as far as... And then we played against you in round three, and now we're playing against Hollow One. This hand does nothing. It has the threat... Okay, this hand is good. This hand is really good. 
Oh boy. This hand is stupid. So it's been performing okay. Unfortunately, I think if I lose this game, um, if I go like negative with a deck, I usually just kind of like call it quits because there's no point in playing it out. So this might actually be my last game, but we're just kind of sitting on the edge here and hoping that that isn't the case. Sure. Okay, I'm not dead. I did not just get like thought seized. Get my thread into play. My opponent has double blood gassed. Hopefully no land drops. They're gonna have a land drop. It it was really dumb of me to say it, but Unfortunately, I think I'm taking some damage from these. Why rest in peace over Leyline? Um, you mean I assume you mean Leyline of the Void? So the main thing is that A, we don't really care about uh, our graveyard as much, so rest in peace doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, and so it doesn't really matter to have that, but the problem is it with Leyline is that... Um, Leyline of the Void really only fits. Oh God, Leyline of the Void really only fits into decks that have the ability to get rid of older ones. And I guess we have Collector Brutalities, but like let's say you play it even on turn zero, you have a Leyline. If you draw a second one later in the game, it does nothing usually. So there's almost no point into just like having that Leyline there, right? Um, and, like, without a way to get rid of it, like Faithful Suiting or whatever, what have you, um, I don't like running them. It's just my personal thing with them. Sure. You do what you want, dog. <clears throat> you should take my Serum Visions. So, I don't know. That's just me. Took my Collector Brutality. I can deal with your creatures. Thoughts ease you, or Inquisition you, I guess. Let's see that one first. Two Gurmaggy boys. All right. <clears throat> but now my dudes can block. And I might as well take one of them. So anyway, yeah, I don't like drawing extras. Yeah, we just, I mean, we run three Snapcaster Mages, so we just, like, drop three Snapcasters for three Rest in Peace. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna block. <clears throat> I mean, I think Rest in Peace is in, like, one of the best spots it's ever been in. Like, Rest in Peace and... Um, oh, God, Settle the Wreckage. Rest in Peace with uh, Stony Silence are probably... the two best sideboard cards right now. So... I mean, the Speed of Graveyard decks, yeah, sure. But, like... Okay, did they get rid of the Gurmag Angler? They did, but apparently not good enough. Hey... Moving on to the last one, 2-2. Two, two. Um, some some graveyard decks are really fast. Like, they can have explosive starts. Obviously, Hollow One can do it, and Vengevine can do it. But <clears throat> Vengevine is really the only one that matters about their graveyard. Like, Hollow One, yes, they use utilize their graveyard quite a bit. But the big issue with their, with their deck is that their explosive starts are usually, like, turn one burning inquiry and then like play a couple hollow ones and like that doesn't matter about the graveyard right like they don't they don't care about it uh they could honestly rest in peace being in player ley line of the void being in play right there doesn't do anything for them um <clears throat> whereas uh yes vengevine can have this very explosive start where they put a bunch of power into play and they kill you on like turn one or two but Rest in peace, th like those those draws are very very hard to come by, and I think rest in peace is just fine as far as being a graveyard hate piece that is more relevant against certain decks. Um, 
versus like I don't think ley line is necessarily worth it because like the risk of drawing a second ley line kind of sucks because it's like four mana and really doesn't do anything. Whereas like drawing a second rest in peace is like yes that sucks, but like you can deal with it essentially. I guess we have to keep this. That's fine actually. I don't know. Oh boy. All right. Okay, Bogles. Again, really? Oh, it's this deck. Okay. I need to know... Um... I need the Oracle text on... on Restore Balance. What is my opponent doing? It's my draw step. Let's see. So if I remember correctly, Restore Balance doesn't really care about enchantments. I assume it's the same as just Balance, which also doesn't care about enchantments. Lands and discards cards and sacrifices creatures. Okay, so my enchantment will get around it. Why is it so... What are you doing during my upkeep? Yeah, that's what I figured it was. It was just the same as balance. Which makes sense, I guess, because they're, like, made off of each other or whatever. You can do whatever you want, too. I don't think they have, so far they've only got blue and white, so they probably, so they could have, what's the name of that card? What? What is happening? Okay. What? Yeah, they need either... Well, they they could play... There's an enchantment that has Cascade that I'm trying to think of. Um, it's like one white-blue. It's exactly the same as the others, though. Yeah, I don't know what Gisela means either. It is Exalted, too, I think, is what the other thing is. Reveals. Okay. I think I just play the Lingering Souls here. I assume they're not on Restore Balance if they're playing Gisela. Unfortunately, I don't... Unless we draw an answer to that, I think we might die to it. They just like ramped into Gisela and Thalia. Okay. Nope. No blocks. Okay. Okay. That seems fine. I didn't really think about the fact that we have, like, a bunch of mainboard wrath effects. Are they on Gisela combo? I mean, I guess, but, like, why? 
What is... It shows me Bruna, right? Seven mana for Bruna. Return an angel or human from your graveyard to the battlefield. So, okay. So they're on, like, hardcore angel control, I guess, or... Maybe even, like, mono-white control? This doesn't ramp them, though. I'm just, like, super confused. Unfortunately... Liliana doesn't get rid of their dude. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Just like getting hyper aggressive, I think. Oh, I have to pay mana to attack them, don't I? Dang it. Yeah have to pay one for each of those creatures. I didn't even think about it. Oh, I missed this. Um, what? <laughs> I, what was it, uh, last week? I don't even know if I put it on, I don't even know if it was on stream. Um, last week I played against some guy with like a 130 card deck that was just like five color good stuff, basically. It was so crazy. Holy crap. Just get rid of a collective. Get rid of a card out of their hand. What are they going to get rid of? Dahlia's Lancers. Okay, so they're on, like, mono-white legends. Interesting. I mean, it seems really bad, but it's interesting. Kill your dude. Swing for six. Yes. Ha ha. My opponent is a madman. Nykthos. Mono white devotion? That explains these. God, he's got so much mana. Elspeth, okay. <laughs> Could we stop, please? This this is where I would prefer it if my opponent didn't. I don't... What is happening? going to jump block with one of your soldier boys? Yeah, I, I don't really have any answers to that, I think. I think my only answer is drawing a wrath effect and then swinging in with this mithrealized... <laughs> Are these mithrealized or whatever? Uh, I think... Oh, wait, are these at Lily? Oh, yeah, sure, you can do that. That's all you, dog. I, I have three Wraths in the main board. I have a Damnation, a Supreme Verdict, and a Wrath of God.
Inquisition is not going to do it. Although Inquisition is a free way to pump up my Mithrealists. So that seems relevant. I'm just gonna like lose to this ultimate though. But I need a wrath like right now. <sighs> sure. Go get a land. Wait, you get any land with this card? Oh boy. You gonna go get another Nykthos? Make like a billion mana? Yeah, make ten mana, sure. Go get another Nykthos. Or What? Okay, am I dead? I'm dead, right? Oh my god. Good games, opponent. Wow, that was sweet. Sure. <laughs> I, as it turns out, I don't. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what do I even do? They have tokens, right? So, probably this. And does Unmoored Ego do... Well, no, because it targets, right? And if they have, like, Leyline, then I'm dead. God, approach the second son would be sweet. I mean, I don't really want to lose to it, but, like, it seems like it'd be really sweet. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Does Stony eat good? Just to stop their... Oh, I guess it stops their... Uh, their artifacts. That seems really loose. Especially because I'm bringing an engineer to deal with her tokens. That seems bad. I'm thinking, like, rest in peace, but that really only stops, like, the Bruna-Gisela combo. Is it Bruna? Yeah. Um, and, then, like, Settle is maybe fine, just because, like, I need another Wrath effect against all their dudes. But, like, ramping them sounds terrible. Unmoored Ego, I think, is fine. But, like, I just don't think it does anything. These collective brutalities are so bad, though. I need to take them out. E oh, Counter Squall? That makes sense, actually. And just cut these collectives. Because they're just so bad. I probably want the Path to Exiles. Do I want Settle? It's a real question. Just because, like, another Wrath effect seems fine against them. J seems very medium minus. Why doesn't this deck have a disenchant? <laughs> I think I'm in for settle too, but I just don't know over what. Over Jace maybe. Jace just doesn't do anything. I hate this card. It's so bad. Just stop Karn and Elspeth. Yeah, that that is definitely correct. Um, if they do not have a ley line, this hand is stupid. They're going to have a ley line on turn one. Sorry. The, the delay shouldn't be all that bad, but I'm, I'm in the process of moving. So, like... I'm in my old place right now, and I'll be in my new place in, like, two weeks. No, actually, about a week now. Um, and so my my new place hopefully will have better internet, better setup, and I won't have to worry about... I assume my sound quality doesn't sound super great either. I've been told um, by the people that I know, like, in person that watch my stream. Because um, I've got a microphone, and I've got a second screen, like a second computer screen and all that sort of setup for... Um, when I move into my new place, but obviously I don't have that set up right now, so, um, hopefully no ley line. So that's pretty good. <laughs> I've got that going for me. Um, so yeah, it should be, should be okay soon. I know that there's some issues with 
the stream specifically as of recently at least. I mean, that's fair. Okay, that was not a great draw. What have we got going on? Jesus. Okay, well, we're taking that thing. God, they just have so many things. What is this deck? I mean, we know that it's like Mono White Devotion, but like... I just don't understand. Okay, so that's what they drew. They're going to play a land for turn. Oh, they still have a land in hand. I shouldn't have clicked that. Eh, whatever. Search your library for a land, reveal it, and put it into your hand. They got a Nykthos. So we actually know all six cards in their hand. Land, please. That's not terrible. Oh, I know this is a miss. I'm so dumb. I just make so many stupid mistakes. This is my problem. You know what? No. We're going to attack with this thing. Yeah, I know, right? I'm such a good guy. Just, like, inquisition my opponent. Don't realize... Like, I, I literally said the line, we know the six cards in their hand. I'm such an idiot. Oh, my God. I know, I could have played the first Mithrealized and then uh, Inquisitioned. It's whatever. I'm just dumb, it's fine. Uh, hate myself. Yeah, get in there. Nope, oh, okay. Alright, well that was a bad draw. I think I'm just going to play this other one because I need to get a threat in, another threat in play. Gotta give him the handicap. I think I'm about to lose this game. My opponent is going to cast an Archangel of the Tides this turn. I don't really have an answer for it. I guess if I draw two more lands, I could just, like, settle. Yeah, you got it. And you played your other planes, right? Yep. Attack me. No? Okay. Alright, this is not going to miss. And it pumps both my dudes. <clears throat> Ghostly prison. I think Leyline of Sanctity is probably past its due date. Um, I think it's. I don't want another Archangel of Tides in play. Like I can at least fight through Ghostly prison. <clears throat> They play the Nykthos. They have five mana. They're playing the Thalia's Lancers. Christ. What are they getting? Anything good? Probably something good. Man, this deck is sweet. What? Oh my god. I guess to be fair, like... My opponent... My opponent's deck makes, like, a billion mana. Like, oh my god, what is happening? That's not gonna do it! <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh, this is just not gonna do it. I'm dead. <clears throat> I think the worries of this game were me drawing less than three lands. Like, only two lands is what's killed me. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely correct. My opponent is gonna... Oh, he cast Leyline. Sure. <laughs> what else you got? Ghostly Prison? Sure. And Leyline. They have three cards in hand. One of them is a Dulamog. Oh my god. What does this thing do? It's just a 4-4 four, four with first strike. Okay, well, I'm not going to do anything about that, so. Oh, man. Oh, man. Please don't. 
I need to draw lands. Lands, please. That doesn't do it. Huh. <sighs> I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Why'd I keep this hand? Ugh. What's wrong with me? Target both my lands? Please. Oh, yes. I'm still playing this game. Oh, my gosh. I actually don't have a way to settle. I can't deal with this. Oh, my God. I'm so dead. It's fine. Oh, and now he's attacking with that, too. Oh, man. Sure. No blocks. Nah. Mono white devotion. Yeah, you're right. This deck is stupid, but I love it. Pack decks. Oh my god. Um, that would save me like three turns ago. My opponent doesn't realize the true strats. Got him. Good games, opponent. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything. I just, I really do. <laughs> I just want to see what else he's going to cast. Thalia? Sure, sure, sure. Do you play a Ganjo Castle? you got to play a Ganjo Castle in that deck. There's so many legendaries. Honestly, I just want to see more of this my opponent's deck because, like, this would be sweet to play on stream. I already play Mono, mono White Prism. Don't kill me. Oh, come on. That's not fun. Did 20 lands get exiled? A bunch of lands did. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> Good games. What am I at? Oh, a bunch. Okay, that sucked. <laughs> okay, so Esper Myth realized. Um, the deck was actually really sweet. It was a ton of fun. Um, I, I love playing, I think, I've always thought that, uh, Esper midrange, or, like, Esper at least had the tools to be a good midrange style deck, and I think this is exactly where you want to be with the deck. Um, or at least, I believe that what this deck is trying to do is correct as far as playing Esper midrange. Um, I really, obviously, I'm, I am a huge advocate for, like, Thoughtseize Inquisition, Liliana, like, Look, look at this. I got, like, Death Cloud. I got, like, four different black-red vampire decks. I've got, like, Dune is four-color. Uh, let's see. Four-color Gifts, Glint. Look at look, a Jund. Like, Thoughtseize into Liliana is exactly what I do in life, and it's something I know very well, and I love it. And I think that this deck does a very good job of being that deck. To be, to be perfectly honest. Um, I think this is a ton of fun. And if you're looking for a very expensive deck to play that is decent, this is what you should build. Uh, or Jund, because Jund is great. But this is a little bit cheaper than Jund. Mainly because your main threats in this deck are uh, Mithrealized, which are like a dollar, versus Tarmogoyf, which is like hundred ish, depending. Um, yeah, I, I am black green X is like my jam. It's it's either black green X mid range or black green X Y mid range because I love four color stuff. Uh, or um, uh, green white like creature combo decks like Devoted Company. Like those those are my two main things, and that's those are the two things that I know very well. Uh, so that's why I like playing you know crappy mid range decks like this. Um, this was a ton of fun. I had a, I had a blast. Uh, I really loved this deck, and I apologize to the person. I think it was like Soldier Bolt or something. Um, I didn't look it up. I should have. Uh, it's it's their deck. It wasn't mine. Uh, I thought this deck was really sweet. I had seen it a couple months ago, and they've definitely made changes to the deck since then. Uh, I didn't really see them until just today when I took the list off of their tapped out account. But 
this is the deck that they were at least on, and I really like it. And I apologize because I didn't give it the justice that it deserved. But to be perfectly fair, we faced Tron and Bogles in the first round, and then we lost to Mono White Devotion in the last round. So, like, the three losses that we had... Two of them seemed abysmal, and one of them seemed like I had no idea what I was doing, and there's no sideboard plan for it, so, like, whatever, right? Uh, on top of the fact that I'm just learning the deck, I, I just don't really understand exactly what this deck is doing um, and how it, how it works perfectly, right? I'm still getting the, the ins and outs of it, but thank you guys for watching. It was super awesome. I really appreciate everyone hanging out, or if you're watching on YouTube in the future, that as well. Um, I'm Knight of St. Traft, and if you would not uh, if it would not discourage you too much, or if you, you know, could take just a couple seconds of your time, please hit the follow button on Twitch or the subscribe button on YouTube, depending on where you are, or, you know, go to the other one and do the same for both. Uh, under my Twitch stream is also a button that leads to my YouTube channel. You can just find it through that. Um, outside of that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for the night. It's a little late and I need to eat dinner because I have not done that yet. Um, but I will see you all uh, Sunday, hopefully. Um, I don't know what we're doing. I know what we're doing on Monday, but not on Sunday. So I'll see you guys all then. Thanks.